Hey Taurus, okay. It's gonna be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And um, I'm gonna start off I'm with, I always like to start off with some type of oracle or wisdom card or something. So I'm gonna start off with these I got and I'm also gonna use a new tarot deck today. Starting off here with adventure. And uh, by the way, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And if you like the video after, to give it a like and um, also share it. <laughs> if you liked it, you can share the video. So this starts off with adventure. And then there's the back on all these that I read. And at some point, we all have some exciting idea to try a completely new experience. But for one reason or other, don't act on it and the impulse passes. It is a shame to do this habitually as having an adventure can create great experiences and memories and can even change the direction of our life. Sometimes we just need to be willing to step out of our routine and embrace our adventurous side. I am open to new experiences. I will not be controlled by routine. So true. All right, Taurus. These cards are a little bit big for my hands. <laughs> my hands, I guess, a little small. On the camera, they probably look big, though. All right, Taurus, for this upcoming week, what do we have? Uh-oh. Well, not uh-oh, but... <laughs> okay. So far, lots of air signs here. So there's, must be somebody uh, dealing with which is, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with here, or you're surrounded by a lot of air, air signs. There's also fire signs and earth signs coming out. All signs are represented, but the sign that stands out the most is Capricorn, which is an Earth sign. But all right, so we're going to start off here. We're reading with the Three of Swords, and uh, looks like you could be healing from something. Um, it could be there could be sorrow or disappointment. But saying to uh, persevere, and I mean, something could have happened. It could have been a love triangle. Could have been somebody stabbing you in the back. Could have been some deception going on. And uh, if none of this ha has happened, just be careful because it's just it could also be a warning. So also just be careful with health issues. Okay, next is a Two of Swords. And this card represents that it could be some indecision going on. Maybe you cannot decide on something. But it's the need for compromise. It could be overanalyzing something a little too much. Maybe you have two different choices and you're trying to make a decision. But it's also not, don't allow any distractions. Next is a Ten of Pentacles. And this is financial security for yourself and your family. And um, it's peace and contentment. And it's general well-being. It can also mean an inheritance. 
Next is a Knight of Swords. And I didn't actually look at the numbers here just to see if there's... Okay, no. Nope. Alright, the Knight of Swords here. Um, this represents events that move with great speed. And it can be sudden or, or unexpected changes. Um, it also represents somebody who's driven and focused. And uh, looks like there's a lot of courage. Somebody who's courageous and determined also. Next is the King of Swords. We have a couple kings here. Knights, queen. There's a lot of uh, male energy. Doesn't mean... You have to be a male, but it's just a lot of uh, male type energy here. Okay, so with the because we have the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords and the King of Wands. So, anyways, with the King of Swords here, this represents somebody who is very sh you know sharp minded and intelligent and uh, somebody who's respected and has authority and power. It's like somebody who can fully understand complex situations. Okay. Next is a King of Wands. This can also represent that there's somebody that could... It could represent like father figure stuff. Maybe there's some somebody's father figure or in your life that you're around that has influence, a lot of influence on you. Or you could just be around a lot of males or male type energies. So the King of Wands here uh, rep represents, it's like protection and leadership or somebody that's in a leadership role. And it's, it's, Somebody who's inspiring and motivational. Can be a little bit controlling though, so. And if this is you, then just, you know, try not to be too controlling. But the Ace of Pentacles is next. And this represents good fortune and an exciting career opportunity or lucrative contract. And I... It, it can also represent like a new home or car, but it's kind of like a, a lots of abundance. Next is the devil. <laughs> and this card is about choices and consequences. It could be some fear or worry going on, but it's a, uh, it's about also, like accepting responsibility for your your choices can also represent um, addictions. Next is a Queen of Pentacles, and this card represents somebody who's generous and practical. And it's also about security and abundance. Again, abundance and. Uh, peace and tranquility and somebody who's accomplished also very hard working okay let me pull one more as I like to do in these weekly readings another error okay so seven of swords And this card, um, well, it, it represents something that could be like a little dishonesty going on. Um, it's saying to take caution, beware. Um, and if it's not like deception or somebody lying or stealing, then it could also represent somebody who has embarrassing secrets. So, you know, they could have secrets that they just are hiding. And so it's coming across as, you know, dishonesty. But 
this looks like you're gonna have to do over here with the three of swords here also you know the two of swords the three of swords the seven of swords the knight of swords the king of swords so um and swords represent it's like logical and using reason it's about thoughts and ideas so all right you guys again if you wouldn't mind subscribing i'd really appreciate that and if you liked it give it a like and share all right thanks a lot